It's no secret that Vancouverites live very active lifestyles, but when we're not sporting our active gear, we like to dress up. So today, I'm at the city's fashion district to meet Robson Street's executive director, Terry Smith, to keep your outfits on point during the hot months. First off on Robson, Plenty, a Vancouver store that's been around for over 25 years and has many West Coast inspired looks. Hi Terry, so nice to see you. So tell me, what are some key essential pieces to have in your closet during the hot months? Well, I definitely think that uh, when you're building your closet, it's important to create some great basics and neutrals to build from, and then that creates a lot of longevity and takes you through the seasons. So I'd say, you know, look for some lace-ups, uh, whether they're flats or heels. Culottes and flare leg uh, pants are definitely hot this season. Off the shoulder tops and dresses, perfect. Lots of prints, florals, bold or subtle. So I've noticed kimonos are quite popular. How do you wear those? Kimonos are a great piece for layering. You can grab on with a great print, whether it be subtle, floral, or a bold print. And it's great for layering over top of a crop top, over a dress, a pair of shorts. It's great to complete any look. So let's talk about men's fashion. What's trending there? Definitely some lighter weight fabrics, really good layering pieces, great button up over top of a basic tee with a good print, light wash denim, you can roll it up at the cuff, make it a little bit more cash, and some really great slip-on canvas shoes that can go between jeans and shorts and just be really versatile. Switching over from trendy looks on the street, we're going over to Club Monaco to see their take on chic and classic looks. If you're really not into the boho festival look, what are some classic pieces you can play with? I think there's a lot of great pieces in here, very much following the inspiration of the French Riviera, 1940s coastal vibe, kind of gives you much more of an elevated look. A lot of these pieces are very versatile, so great to go from day to night, take off the flats and put on a pair of heels and switch up some accessories with some statement jewelry and you're ready to go. Definitely seeing a palette of fresh whites and crisp blues and coral and greens. The pieces are very easy breezy, very simple, comfortable and easy to wear. Now to Boys Co, another Vancouver based company that's been around for over 30 years that's very fashion forward in menswear. So talking a little bit more about men's fashion, when we were at Plenty, it's a little bit more casual, laid back. What are some classic looks men can play with? Definitely coming into a more skinny leg, skinny jean for men. Dark denim, dress it up a little bit more, cuff it up for summer, make it a little bit more cash or distressed look. And pairing that with some basic tees or polo shirt, uh, button up and layering that over a tee as well. What's great for outerwear? Something that's a bit more lightweight, bomber length, so it's not too long, kind of hits at the waist, just something to grab and go. We're definitely seeing a lot of athletic inspired pieces for men this season. Cotton, very breathable. Alternative to denim is definitely, you know, the crop short. And we're definitely seeing a lot of monochromatic color palettes, so blacks, grays, whites, that kind of thing, very basic for men. Thank you so much, Terry. I learned a lot about fashion today. A lot of looks from festival to athletic wear, very exciting. So thank you so much again. To stay up to date with all the current trends or for more styling tips, visit Robson's blog or follow online at Robson Street. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Michelle Morton.